feel like I'm living in a cat sanctuary. How's your avocado? This is the best day ever. <laughs> mum, stop it! <laughs> I'm You've not through enough, Mum. Good morning everybody, welcome to another weekly vlog. It feels weird starting this on a Sunday, uh, but here we are. <laughs> so I'm on the way to London, or I'm, well, I will be on the way to London in a little bit, because I'm obviously not going in my dressing gown, even though I wish I could, because it's very cold outside. Um, but I'm going down to London today uh, for World Travel Market tomorrow, and I'm stopping with Lauren, which is very exciting, because uh, I haven't seen her since we've been on holiday, so I can't wait for a big Lauren hug. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd bring you along. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna get to film, actually, at WTM, because apparently it's super stressful and really busy, uh, for three days so you might have to bear with me for the first part of this vlog <laughs> um, but on Friday my bed is coming and that is the final thing that I'm waiting for for the flat so yeah I won't be on the air bed anymore which will be a godsend and then I can kind of start decorating my bedroom a little bit now once I know like the space that we've got to play with and stuff and I'm just so excited for that mattress because I splashed out a little bit on it because it's just so comfortable <laughs> and my back will thank me a lot actually sleeping on a proper bed um so yeah that's pretty much the plan for this week so i'm gonna go in the shower um get changed for a big jumper on because it's so so chilly and then i'm gonna pack my suitcase and head to london look who it is it's laura with a snazzy new hair no. and a hat that really doesn't go with your jumper it was a pound you're 30 and you're wearing a care patch it doesn't fit my head anymore because of your fabulous new hair, just bursting out of it. <laughs> We've just ordered Chinese. Look at this giant tub of pretzels. Lauren has just eaten half of it. <laughs> how how big is your spring roll? Quite, quite good. It's <laughs> huge. Don't feel me eat it. Yes. Oh my goodness, look at the breakfast that Lauren has just made me. This is a wonderful hotel, even though the host is dressed like a mental person. <laughs> I'll run you through my look. Go on then, outfit I of the day. Candy. <laughs> it's actually like Dylan's candy bar. Uh, super dry leggings yeah. and minion socks. <laughs> it's a strong look. I'm back home. It's a very, it's been a very long day. It's all oh, there's cats everywhere. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Now the phone's going. But I'll talk to you in a bit. Hello, everybody. Like every time I start a vlog, a cat jumps at me. <laughs> Feel like I'm living in a cat sanctuary. <laughs> Hello everybody, uh, it's been a very very long day, it's now 10 to 8 and I just got back from the XL, I'm just absolutely broken, my back, my hips, my feet, everything just kills, um, but it's been a really good day, a really useful day, managed to see loads of PRs and countries and have some really great meeting and networking, I saw Emily and Chloe, hey guys, and Vicky, and it was just, it was just awesome, I had a really nice day, even though it was quite overwhelming at first, I just did not know what to do, the giant tub of pretzels is back! Don't call me that. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna make some pasta, some easy pasta, and watch some TV and just chill. Lauren's drinking out of a wine bottle. <laughs> it's been open for a week. Why are we it's friends? It's actually two weeks, because it's, um, it's Does it weeks, not taste disgusting? Two weeks tomorrow. What, that's the anniversary of the opening of the wine, is it? I'm so, I'm too tired for this. <laughs> I'll talk to you tomorrow. How's your avocado? What avocado? <laughs> There's no avocado. It's literally just all stone. We can't plug properly. We can't plug our breakfast <laughs> properly. It's not even going to cover the slides of whole green, whole green time. <laughs> Good morning everybody. It is Tuesday. It doesn't feel like Tuesday, it feels like Friday. I'm so tired. Um, but I'm heading off to the second day of World Travel Market today, which is exciting. I've got a couple of meetings booked in. Phew. <laughs> Lauren is furiously beating eggs and staring at me while she's doing that. That's weird. Can you stop? What is going on with my hair? Needs washing. Stop it! Um, <laughs> I've uh, got a few meetings today and then um, a little social thing with Portugal uh, before I go home. It's ever so strange. You're kind of walking around and you're texting all your friends to see where they are. I'm like, oh, I'm just... Oh. Sorry. I thought that was the X then. No, it was the, it was the pit. 
<laughs> you texted all your friends to say, where are you? Oh, I'm in Cuba. Oh, okay, I'm just in Thailand. I'll meet you in Central America. <laughs> it's really strange, um, but it, it's really good. It's just exhausting, so I'm just a little bit drained already and I've only done one day, so uh, God knows how I'm gonna feel later on today. Uh, but that's pretty much the plan, so I'll probably catch up with you later because it's just a bit manic when you get there. But I've got to have my breakfast that Lauren's making again and then trudge all the way to the XL. Give me your first thoughts on what it looks like. Is it? It looks amazing. The eggs look fantastic quality. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Good. That, that was the only answer. <laughs> Look who I found at World Travel Market. <laughs> Guess where Emily went last night to an event. <laughs> and she's hungover. You remember her from Montenegro picking up a cat in the street. <laughs> Emily, it might have rabies. It doesn't have rabies, look at me. <laughs> I was trying to... It's literally trying to scratch your face off. Oh, I made a really weird meow. <laughs> but yeah, but oh. your Montenegro street cat experience. Um, I thought the cat wanted to be friends. It didn't want to be friends. <laughs> George, George. Like this is not going to make it into the vlog. Yeah. Weekly vlogs, right. maybe. No, don't put me in your weekly vlog. I'm about to make you all these for the weekly vlog. Weekly vlog. Anyone, anyone. <laughs> I feel like this is cruel because I can't bite back. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that was a joke. My vision's fine. I'm going to take him home. I think that sort of. Should we put you in my bag? Come come in my flat with me. Yes. Come in my flat with me. You look so cute. Right now, if you want. He's so tiny. This is the best day ever. Who's your friend? This is Cyril. He's my new boyfriend. We don't need many boys. We just have you. <laughs> and he's smelly enough for all the boys. <laughs> so cute. Oh my god. Good little face. Oh my goodness. Thank you. He's on me. Hello everybody. Happy what day is it? Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> Yeah, it's only Wednesday, it feels a lot later. Um, so I haven't filmed today because I completely forgot my camera, but we've been out this morning. I went for a Costa and they've got Christmas cups and how cute are they? They're That's playing so Christmas music. Yeah, that was a bit much. <laughs> I'm okay with the Christmas cups. I haven't ordered anything Christmassy yet. Mind you, you haven't a gingerbread latte. Yeah, but now they serve it all year round. I feel like that's cheating. Okay. Well, but I don't have it all year round because I'm, I'm a, I'm like, yeah. We both look really rough. <laughs> and <laughs> because we just rolled out of bed, we were like, we need some coffee. <laughs> I just looked at the view. Right <laughs> I know. I've just got like, I just, yeah, not, not, we don't want to stop here, but um, we're just having a bit of a chill day because the XL has wiped me out and you've got a day off work, so we're just sort of chilling out, we're probably going to go out for dinner later, and yeah, I'm going to be answering all of your comments, it's my new hat, stolen it off Lauren, she's not having it back, <laughs> you're not having it back. Just in case you forget my name. Nobody knows your name. Who are you? Hello everybody, it is, uh, what time is it about? It's half seven-ish and we just- six. Quarter six. Quarter to eight, quarter to eight. I was gonna say, it goes so dark quickly now, doesn't it? Oh my goodness. Um, so, sorry I haven't vlogged all day. We've just literally been working and it's been pretty rubbish because we've been on our laptops all day. Um, but we're heading out for Turkish food now, which is very, very exciting. Um, just wanted to have a little bit of a chat before we go. First of all, my fly's been open for pretty much most of the day. Just, what? <laughs> just seeing it in the toilets. That was attractive. Second of all, I've had two comments today um, from people saying um, that I shouldn't cry in my vlogs or that I'm always crying in my vlogs. And <laughs> I wanted to talk about it because um, I won't be stopping. And the reason why... <laughs> <laughs> the reason why... You can't make her... You can't make me. No, the reason why is because the reason you watch these vlogs is because they're real and this is real life. And the moment where I feel like I can't be myself on this channel is the moment I'm going to leave. Um, and I've been through a really crap time lately. So if I'm... Cry days are expected. But do you know what? Even if I hadn't, cry days still happen. What day? Cry days. So I get my violin out? I love the fact that I cry in pretty much every thumbnail. You don't even cry in thumbnails apart from your hair one. And I oh. never get the comments and you people just write, Gah! I know. I don't know why people have, what do they do when they, Gah! 
that's an impression of people writing hate comments. Um, no, it's literally been two people, but it just <laughs> it annoyed me actually because we're a really supportive community here and like i said the content that i put out is real life and sometimes there are rubbish days and sometimes there are rubbish days for a reason sometimes there are rubbish days for no reason sometimes people might cry for a reason that you think is silly or you might cry for a reason other people think is silly or you might cry for a reason that everybody thinks is totally justified it happens and i don't want to be a youtuber that sugarcoats things um that pretends everything's fine when it's not i mean most of the time it is and th that's why it's frustrating because they're obviously not real team xaxers because if they were they'd know that this is a really positive place to be and yeah it's just it's a load of tosh ain't, really. but, ain't nobody got time for that ain't nobody got time for that ain't nobody got time for that you, you i should stop i should stop writing comments under different names <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> I'm bitter enough, Mum. Maybe it's because you're the most irritating person in the, in the, on the internet. Oh yeah, and it's, somebody did also tell me that I'm the most irritating person on the internet. Don't think that's true. Lauren's channel. It's not been a good day for you, is it? <laughs> no, <laughs> it's just. <laughs> so I just wanted is to. Is that your bottom lip quivering? You're right. <laughs> I, I think it's frustrating because people will either be saying. You're fake. You. This is all real. Blah blah. Not like life isn't all sunshine and rainbows and all that kind of rubbish. But then if you show the real side, then sometimes people will be like, "Oh my god, oh you just cry." No, but what you would can't they win. say? Oh my god, oh you just cry. <laughs> oh, oh, right. The car's steaming up. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, go. So I just wanted to say that. Um. So yeah, I'm sorry. You're gonna get real life here. Good, bad, and the ugly. Mostly ugly. We ain't got time for haters. We've only got time for Turkish food. Delicious <laughs> Turkish morsels. Get that kebab in my belly. Ooh, look at this. Yum, yum, good choice. <laughs> Where's the meat? Bring on the meat. <laughs> Hello everybody, it's Thursday and I'm just packing my suitcase because I'm going home today, which I'm a little bit sad about because it's been really lovely hanging out with Lauren all week. Um, but I've kind of missed my little flat, so I'm excited to go back. I was gonna say and stay in my own bed, but that's not turned off until tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'm just about to pack my suitcase. It looks like this at the moment. <laughs> literally looks like it's exploded on the floor um but i've got an event with skyscanner today in central london so i'm gonna hop on the train on the tube with my suitcase head to the event and then it'll be time to go home so i finished at my event and now we're having drinks in the main park and it's just a little bit crazy but um welcome to the life of a vlogger in london loving it Um, I've got an exciting day ahead of me today because my bed is being delivered and the lovely Rosie is coming to see my new flat and I'm so so excited because um, I'm literally having a get together uh, but not till next month and she was like I can't wait until next month to come and see your flat and uh, that's not how she talks but it is for today um, so she's coming over and I'm really excited um, <clears throat> The bed has just, I've just had a text from Benson, sorry, this autofocus is terrible, um, but apparently it's less noisy, so, here we go. Um, yes, I just had a text from Benson say that they're going to be here between 12 and 7, which, wish they'd have told me that this morning, so I didn't get up really early, but anyway. Uh, and, uh, I've just had a text from DPD to say that I'm having a parcel delivered about quarter past 11, and it is now... 22.11, so I'm gonna make a dash to the post office to collect a parcel that I missed, another parcel that I missed yesterday, and pick up some cake for when Rosie gets here later, because I literally have nothing in the fridge, because I haven't been here or had a chance to do a shop, so yeah, running about around like a, like a mad woman this morning, but it's a good day, I'm excited, I hope my bed fits down the stairs. <laughs> oh my goodness, look what my parcel was that I just been to collect, it's an ecosphere, and I've been sent it by a Prezi box, Basically, I've seen these for years and I've always, always wanted one. They're, they're designed by NASA and they're basically a self-contained um, ecosystem. And you, you can't open it or anything, it's completely sealed. And you just leave it in good light and it will just live as it is. And there's little shrimps in there. I don't know if you can see them. <gasps> there's one! Hello, shrimpies! Oh my goodness, this is so cool! They're really beautiful, and from a science point of view, they're dead cool. 
How awesome is that? Where are my other shrimpies? There's a few in there, I've seen them. <gasps> Guys, I've got a pet! <laughs> you know how I said a couple of weeks ago how I keep um, coming across things that I haven't yet bought? I'm currently trying to boil an egg in a wok because I realise I haven't bought any sort of ones. <laughs> I've got like little frying pans and stuff and a big frying pan. Um, I don't have any saucepans. Brilliant. So uh, yeah, it's taking a while, unconventional, but I'm sure we'll get there. Look who's in my house. Hello. <laughs> it's Rosie. This is the lady I was banging on about in last week's vlog. And um, we're having sandwiches and cake. We're having red velvet cake, unfortunately not homemade. And sandwiches on my little afternoon tea set. It's from Denby, by the way, if anybody wants to know. And it matches the mugs over there. And Rosie bought me this lovely candle. It's huge and it smells amazing. I need to add it to my collection. <laughs> you can never have too many candles. That's true. And I actually didn't know what it smelled like when I got it because I couldn't... Yeah. Take, you know, normally you can take, take the lid off. off. You couldn't take it off, so I just I'm gonna go with my gut on this one. It smells amazing. I love jasmine. Jasmine's a really calming scent. I'm gonna light that tonight. Just, <laughs> just done Rosie's nails with my blue sky kit. You guys have been asking about this, and I absolutely love it. Um, do you like them? Yes. Just ignore how tiny my little nails. They're not are. tiny. They're like. Baby nails. They look really good. But honestly, can't worry about this kit enough. It's on the blog at the Mo. And I'm not being paid to talk about it. It just genuinely is that good. And I'm gonna do mine later as well. That was really nice to see Rosie. I haven't seen her in a few weeks actually. And to show her around the flat and everything. And she said that I have officially an Instagramable flat. Yes, I feel like I've made it. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was a really lovely afternoon. We had afternoon tea and um, did nails and stuff and just caught up, just jabbered on all afternoon. So, um, I was supposed to be going out tonight and I am not going out now, so I think I'm gonna have a really chilled evening on my own. Then I might have a bath, put my favorite pajamas on, go and get myself a bottle of wine from Tesco, do my nails and catch up on loads of TV because there's the magician program that was on a Sunday, I recorded that. There was a secret life of six year olds, recorded that. And The Apprentice, oh my God, so much TV to watch. So I think I'm just gonna have a chilled out evening to myself with a bit of pampering. And here we have my new bed of dreams, yay! The eagle eyed viewers will know that it is pretty much the exact same bed as I had before, um, but just in a different colour on the headboard and the same mattress because my back absolutely loved this mattress. But it's a king size all to myself and I'm not sharing it with anybody and I cannot wait to sleep in it tonight. The only thing is though, it's really made me aware that that one bulb is cool white and the rest of them, actually that, that one and this one are cool white and the rest of them are warm. That's annoying, isn't it? That's really annoying. I suppose though, that is the side I sleep on and that's where I sit to do my makeup. So maybe we can just say that they're special light for reading in bed and doing makeup. I don't know, that's gonna bug the hell out of me <laughs> until I fix that, but yay bedroom. Wow, I look horrible today. I've also got the biggest spot on my chin. I don't know where that came from. Um, good morning, it's Saturday. It is horrible, horrible, horrible weather today. Like, I nearly have to turn the lights on. It's so dark and it's chugging it down with rain, which is pretty miserable. And I'm feeling a bit like I've got a cold coming, which is even more miserable. I got some prints today. Um, not some prints, although that would be very nice. Uh, <laughs> some prints for my frames, uh, which I wasn't expecting them to arrive today, which is, um, it's nice, because they're the kind of like the last things that I'm sort of waiting for. Um, the rest I can just kind of go out and buy myself. Um, but I got this, it's in rose gold foil, and this is what my um, friend Sam said to me in the very early stages, and it was kind of like a turnaround, a mini turnaround point for me. It was when I, I was obviously still feeling uh, so awful about the situation. I said to him, I just said, I just feel so empty. And he said, empty is good. Empty glasses can be filled with wonderful things, like wine. <laughs> and it just made me smile so much. And it just made me realize that, yeah, I do feel empty now, but empty is good, you're right, because you do sometimes you do have to completely empty in order to fill yourself back up with awesome stuff. So I got that printed in rose gold foil. The only thing is it doesn't fit in my frame. Couldn't find anywhere that would do it big enough, so it's kind of just gonna have to sit in there like that. Uh, but I think it looks quite cool, actually. So I'm gonna fill around with that. Uh, and then I got a collage frame from IKEA. You can see here, oh, I don't wanna break it, but like loads of collage 
piggies there. So I um, ordered some from Snapfish uh, to put in like loads of my adventure ones. I'll show you them now. I got a few different ones so I can swap and change them. Um, but I thought I'd put them in. Things that make me feel proud. Like the first time I went skiing, which was nearly a year ago. My goodness. Um, oh, that was Croatia. Me, mum and dad. Um, me in Mykonos, feeling almost like a fashion blogger. <laughs> and then some of the streets in Mykonos was really nice. Uh, doing yoga on a cruise ship, that was a high point. Northern Lights, oh my goodness. Me and Lucy and me and Lauren. Um, so yeah, I just thought I would fill those. And I'm just determined to take more photos, especially more photos that way, because I realise I don't have that many. Um, so when I next see Rosie and Mallory and Sarah, I'm going to make them take pictures of me <laughs> for my frames. Oh my goodness, it's so pink. I accidentally dyed my hair pink <laughs> in the shower. Somebody gave me some Aveda products that are for um, enhancing warm tones in hair. Um, because they didn't need it anymore, they changed their hair colour. So I was like, oh, okay, I'll try it. There's like half a bottle left in. They're really expensive, really good products. I put it in thinking it would just make my hair a little bit warmer. And it's actually dyed it pink. Wow. Okay. Well... We'll, we'll give it a go. We'll, we'll just rock that for a little... Why is it only taken on one part as well? Just on this bit here. I think that must be like a natural highlight. Oh, oh dear. But if there's anybody with red hair who wants to keep it looking red, I will find you the product. <laughs> because they obviously work. I didn't expect it to work this much. It's literally just... Oh, it looks a little bit less in here. Maybe it's the light. I don't know. It doesn't look that bad in real life. I think it's just the camera. Um, but it's the Aveda Amada Root Colour Conditioner and um, yeah it's meant to um, enrich warm tones in dark hair or turn your hair red, whatever. Um, so that's my life at the moment. Um, yeah really weird that is. Oh yeah it looks a lot redder in here. Anyway, I'm trying only to wash my hair once a week um, to try and keep the toner in and also just to try and help it be a little bit healthier because this kind of length it's, um, everyone said that it's really good for it to wash it less um, and I found that it has actually adapted pretty well but I'm just annoyed now because I'm going to have red hair for a week I might have to wash it all Wednesday anyway, <laughs> so today I'm going to have a movie day um, because the weather is so hideous so I'm going to go around to a friend's house and we're going to watch loads of movies, drink some wine eat some tapasy bits, maybe order a takeaway um, yeah, that's pretty much the plan but I probably won't film much because I don't want to shove cameras in people's faces who don't want cameras shoved in their faces um, so yeah, if you, don't, if you don't see me for a bit that's where I am, just sat like a couch potato in front of the TV what a better way to spend a Saturday, especially when the weather's like this. Hey team, happy Sunday. Uh, so I had a lovely day yesterday, sorry I didn't vlog much. Um, just don't really like shoving cameras in people's faces who don't want cameras in their faces. Um, but I basically spent the whole day watching films and catching up with some TV, first days, goggle box, all of the stuff that I missed while I was um, out in London. So today is another pretty much chill day. I'm still so, so tired after my week in the book smoke. Uh, and I'm looking forward to kind of having a proper a week in my new flat like with a full routine as normal uh next week so yeah i'm just making the most of this free time before it all starts again um i'm gonna go into town and run a few errands there's a few bits i need to pick up a few bits i need to do um just niggly little bits really like i still haven't got any lampshades for here or in there because i keep forgetting um so i'm just gonna pick up some lampshades a few bits some pasta bowls um yeah just a few little niggly bits really and i bought some new jeans because these ripped jeans have pretty much had it. I've had them from New Look so, so long and they're pretty much grey now instead of black. So I bought myself basically the exact same pair of jeans. So I need to go and pick those up and do a bit of food shopping because there's nothing in my fridge. Might get something nice for tea tonight. And yeah, come back, just chill because it's really cold again. So I just kind of want to snuggle up. My skin is so, so bad at the moment um, because it just, it just got really congested in London and I came home and did my facial and it's just in the purging phase. And it's honestly, it's making me feel a little bit sad. Doesn't look that bad on here in the viewfinder. It probably will do when I'm editing. Um, but yeah, it's just making me a little bit sad actually. It's it's funny, my skin hasn't bothered me for so, so long and since everything that's happened, it started to bother me again. And I don't know why, like really not, I think, well obviously, because everything's knocked my confidence completely. So things like this um, just really affect me again. But yeah, I'm a bit sad that it started to make me 
miserable. And also, I need to wash my hair again because that little red streak <laughs> is doing my head in. What? Oh, so random. Anyway, that's pretty much my Sunday. Um, sorry, this weekend hasn't been crazy and, and exciting for you, but hopefully, we'll get back into a routine next week. And uh, yeah, just start again with just real life. Now we're all in, we're all sorted. No trips to London. Let's do it. I've been looking for a copper lantern for a couple of weeks now and I've looked in Denelm so many times and then I came across this one today. They must have just had it back in stock. It's 22 99 and it's lovely and it's gonna go where that spaghetti jar is. <laughs> that was just in, until I found one of these and I got some fairy lights from Next which are like on a copper wire. So I'm gonna stick those in there around the candles and have like a little fairy lamp thing and i got some new towels all from denelm uh for the bathroom and there's some more ivy for my little garden there because i've got a few gaps um yeah successful shopping spree picked up my jeans from next uh from new look haven't tried them on yet so i'm going to try those on make sure that they fit and then i think i'm going to get into my pjs and just chill for the rest of the evening while i put up my new lampshades and all of this rubbish but i think i'm going to leave the vlog here because i've got a feeling it's going to be a rambly one this week i'm sorry it's been you haven't really seen much of my days but it's obviously been tricky at world travel market which feels like forever ago now goodness me and this spot is getting bigger and bigger i'm so upset by my face oh my goodness oh well um yeah so i shall see you guys next week what we do next week i'm going to see the commitments uh on stage which will be really fun that's tomorrow and then mum's coming up we're gonna go for lunch and yeah a few other bits and bobs planned and uh, maybe a night out and possibly some filming with a brand loads of things up in the air but um should be a little bit better next week and i can uh, actually film some of the stuff that i'm doing so thank you very much for all of your lovely comments they just keep flooding in and they really do make my week and my days and it's just <sighs> You guys are awesome, and I know I say this every week, but you really are. And uh, yeah, here's to the first proper week in the flat with a real routine. Yeah! See you next week, guys! Bye! Someone's stolen my bin. I'd say this is a low point. <laughs>